If you enjoyed this video make sure you like, subscribe and join the discord down below. Just a pre-warning to everyone watching this video, not everything in this video is guaranteed to increase your performance, but it is going to help some people and let me know down in the comments below if it helped you. Thank you for watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to update your GPU drivers. You can do this by finding out what GPU you have. Do this by typing dxdag like I have in your search thing. Go to display. Wait for this to load and your GPU should be here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search this up on Google and write drivers and go to the official website of like the manufacturer. Updating your drivers can help make sure your GPU is up to date, which is definitely going to like increase your performance. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn on Windows game mode. Windows has a built in game mode thing that increases your performance just like in general. So you're going to want to turn this on and it should definitely help with Roblox. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn off your Xbox game bar. I'm sure you guys have seen your Xbox game bar before like pop up sometimes and like no one actually uses it. So you're going to search up Xbox game bar and you're going to see enable Xbox game bar in your Windows search. You're going to want to press this and turn this off. It's going to just get rid of it, have less stuff running around in the background. Uh, okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn your power plan on high. This is situational for everyone people on pc it's just gonna make your pc like use more of its like parts to help you run your pc faster and less lag people on laptop it's gonna use your more of your battery so if you don't play plugged in i don't advise turning this on high but what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to do edit your power plan Or choose your power plan even you're gonna to want to press choose your power plan and you're gonna to want to put it on you're not gonna have ultimate performance I installed a program that lets me put it on ultimate performance but you're gonna to to want to put it on high and once you do that just be wary on a laptop your battery usage may go down like a lot but on a PC I haven't really noticed any difference maybe it makes it slightly louder or something but once you do that, you're going to want to delete all the temporary files on your PC. Now, this sounds like sus, but temporary files are files that are only used like when programs are open. And when you open the said programs, they'll just reinstall them anyway. So it'll, it includes like old programs and stuff. So what, you, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your file explorer, C drive, or whatever you have Windows installed on, you're going to want to go to Windows. It's going to be called Temp. Press T. Temp. And you're going to want to delete everything here. I already deleted this, and this is programs I'm already running. If it doesn't let you delete anything, just leave it because it's probably programs that you have open right now. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search up percent, temp, percent. It's going to take you to a folder, and you're going to delete everything here everything that you can you see how there's some roblox files which are probably not being used anymore so i'm going to go ahead and delete all of it you see how it's one gigabyte nearly more and all the stuff you can't delete obviously just going to skip once you do that make sure you go to a recycling bin Delete everything in your recycling bin. Right, 
the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to delete any like games and apps that you don't play. So let's say, let's say you go to your task manager, right? And you go to start up and you have all these like programs. For example, I have my light shot enabled when my PC starts so I can screenshot stuff. Vanguard for Valorant. Giazzo, my mouse program. So everything that you don't use, like everything you, you don't want, like Epic Games launcher and Steam and Skype opening when you turn on your PC, right? So once you do that, you're gonna wanna go to processes and just end any like programs that like you don't want using, like say gaming services, that's the Xbox game bar, right? You're gonna wanna turn that off. Let's see what else. Um, Let's see, Xbox Game Bar here. Some of you may actually have Skype, which you're just gonna wanna delete and end it. And yeah, that's everything we're gonna do on your Windows. And now I'm gonna hop on Roblox real quick. Once you're on Deepwoken, you're gonna wanna press any key to continue. Continue, choose your character or whatever. Now here, this is actually very useful. The devs have added a server chooser so you don't get put in your, like let's say you're from France and you get put in like an Asian server, your ping's gonna be very high and therefore your performance is gonna be very high, like very bad. So what you wanna do is, since I'm from the UK, I'm gonna scroll all the way down, find like a Germany or UK server. So here, let's see. I'm gonna look for a UK one. See, 38 minutes UK. So I'm gonna press on this and I'm gonna join it because your ping has a really big impact on your FPS in Deepwoken, like very big impact. And how old the server is, you don't wanna go on a server that's older than like, let's say 10 hours or like five hours even, because everything's just gonna like lag up. Everything's gonna start lagging. So now, when you're in game, what you're gonna want to do is, so you, you'll be in game with high GFX, probably 10 graphics, right? And personally, I'm gonna warn you guys before you use an FPS unlocker. I use an FPS unlocker and I have 80 frames, right? I shift F4 to check, and it's the thir third and fourth line. I have 80 frames right now, right? On 10 graphics. I don't usually get 80 frames on 10 graphics, I usually play. Sorry, my dog started barking. What you want to do is, I usually play on seven, right? And that gives me the best performance. And then what you want to do is, low GFX on. See how I shot up to a hundred frames. And I just play like this. Make sure you join a short server with your ping. And your, I guarantee you. This is like the biggest game changer in Deepwoken. Your performance is mostly affected by your ping and how old the server is. Anything above seven really drops your frames on this game. Not every game, but on this game it certainly does. So that's what you're gonna wanna do. Then one more thing, if you open your task manager again, by right clicking on your taskbar and going to task manager, you're gonna go to details, right? Or services even. Might be details. So you're gonna find your Roblox, right? Right click it, set priority, and you can put above normal or high. I'd say if you have a better PC, put high, or if you have like a kind of bad laptop, put above normal. And it's gonna warn you, but just change priority. It don't have any other apps open that you don't need. And this is also going to help your FPS like a lot. So, yeah, let me know. Actually, one more thing before I leave. Let's say you, you want to play with like your American friends when you're from the UK, right? Every, you're going to notice that you're aiming at someone while they're moving and your like attack or skill will go straight through them. That's an issue with like ping. And one big advice I have for that is to you're gonna want to like hit in front of them 
So like, let's say you're using Lightning Assault. They're like here, right? And you're using Lightning Assault and it doesn't hit them while they're running. What you want to do, dash in front of them and then use it or slide in front of them, then use it. And it, I guarantee you it will hit them. But that will probably come to a separate video, like how to fight on like higher ping, 150, 200. And you guys should definitely check out Agamatsu's uh, video on how to fight on high ping. Because that one is actually pretty useful. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if any of this actually helped. Um, and if not, I can try and make another video. Or you guys can DM me on my Discord. My Discord is linked down below. And my group. But yeah, anyway. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a good day.